Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how you can use Google's Vision AI API to do many things such as detect landmark, detect text inside an image. So let me give you a small demo of the power of this Vision API. Uh, let me select a landmark so I have created this telegram chatbot to detect images and you can see I have sent in an image and it has detected the landmark so you can do uh, many things with this vision AI API so let's get started in order to use Google's vision API you need to have node.js installed you must have a gcp account which is also enable for billing because google's vision api will need an account which has billing enabled but don't worry it's not going to charge you anything because there are some free quota and for this testing purpose and demonstration purpose we are not going to violate that the things you need is to have a service account so under im and admin section there is a service account and from there you can create new service account or download a key of an existing service account and if you want to know more about it you can watch one of my video on how to use Google service account. I have already downloaded the service account credentials. Uh, next thing is you need to have Google Vision API enabled for that particular project. So let me do it. So this is the Cloud Vision API and you need to enable it. okay i have enabled the vision api now we are set to use the vision api if you search for google's vision api you will surely find this page here uh, in google documentation it shows all the things with which you can use uh, google's vision api so let's get started first i will select a folder where i want to write the code and open visual studio code then open terminal and i will write npm init to initialize a node.js project i'll go with the default parameters and then we will install this Google Vision NPM package I'll provide the flag save it is installed now now I will create a new file let's say demo code dot js let's first import the library we just installed let's say vision equals to require yeah, google cloud vision now there are many ways with which you can authenticate the request to google cloud one of the easiest way is to use service account credentials so let's say credentials equals to json parse json dot stringify and then i'll provide this service account json file okay now in order to use this service account what you can do 
let's say config sorry let's say const config equals to its dictionary let's say credentials then shells equals to uh, this configuration will require uh, first private key and that will be credentials dot private key and client email and let's say that is credential dot client email now this configuration is ready so in order to use the vision library what we can say let's say const client equals to new vision dot image annotator client now this image annotator client will take this configuration okay let me save this if you go here they have done the same thing we have downloaded the service account credentials and everything uh, the better way to use credential is to provide it as environment variables but you know it's a uh, it's a fairly easiest way but i prefer using service account and we have created the client now it says that client has different methods let's say let me create a function uh, let's say detect landmark that will be asynchronous function and it will take uh, file path now use error function and let's say let result equals to await client dot landmark detection this is the method now this landmark detection will require a string which is path to the image uh, in which you want to detect landmark so let me take this path okay and let me provide it here and let me just console the result let's call detect landmark let me run this file node now it has detected the landmark and it has provided this response if you see uh, this landmark annotation is the thing we require and let me let me get that so from there you can see uh, these are the landmarks which it has detected uh, it has thought the image as this landmark but if you see the score so the all, always the first uh, item in the array will have the highest score so i will take the first item and let me run this again so we can get the first item only so this is the first item okay it has many properties uh, location then description then boundaries and everything so what we at this point require is description so let me just take that and let me run this again so we will get the landmark detected and the description of that image let me test the same thing with the image 2 landmark to jpeg okay landmark okay there is a 
typo. So it's a Taj Mahal and if we can see that, verify that it's a Taj Mahal. <coughs> so I hope uh, this helps. You can use this API to do many things. As I always say, uh, the only limitation is your imagination. Let's quickly have a demo of uh, detect text it will be a async function again we will just provide the file path i'll use arrow function and now let result equals to await client dot text so it has a method called text detection and if you hover over text detection it says string now again the string will be the file path in which you want to detect the text so that is text dot png and let me just console the result okay let me call the function okay so I'm sorry I should have done in this way let me run the file okay so you can see it has again detected tried to detect text into this image we provided and if you see if you see that is in the last you will see there is full text annotation and there is a text property so okay it's uh, text annotation it's outside text annotation so we can take this and result this and the property is text okay, let me run this again so the text is I am curious about area filling text rendering option and if you go here you can find the same thing written in the image so this is very powerful you can as I said you can use this API to achieve many things the code used in this demo will be available on my github and the link for it is in the description i hope you have gained some knowledge with this video i wish you can do something from this information see you in the next video thank you for watching peace